All right, we good? Rolling. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to RiversEdgeCutlery.com. Today, we're gonna wrap it up. This is the follow-up video to last week's video. It's pretty cool. So we're actually gonna go and give everyone back their original knives and kind of get their thoughts and feelings on the knife that they actually had to end up carrying all week, whether or not it's something they would carry in the future or if it's a knife that they would wanna buy down the road. Yeah, starting off, Evan, what'd you have? I had the Spyderco PM2. This is the Cutlery Shop Warren Cliff Edition in S30V. How'd you like it? I actually, I, I really like it. it. It makes total sense for me because I'm a huge uh, PM2 Para 3 guy, and I'm also a huge Warren Cliff guy. Yeah, uh, one of my these were, Yes, and these were an exclusive to CutleryShop.com. Uh, he is planning on doing more in the future in different colors and configurations, I guess. So if you're interested in something like this, I think it's a great choice. I had absolutely no issues with it. I used the crap out of it. Really nice. liked it. Good to hear. I had the Three Rivers. This one was from Eric. Super cool. Um, it's smaller than what I'm used to carrying, but I tell you what, it just hid away when I put it in the pocket. Yeah. Another thing, I did use it quite a bit. I didn't abuse it, just used it, and it was super, super slicey. Yeah. And yeah, I liked it, super sharp. Props so to Eric. is that a knife that you would buy in the future? I think so. Okay. Um, it'd have to be on occasions when I would carry it, but I would, I'd like to have one at one point. So for me, I would absolutely buy a Cutlery Shop Warren Cliff PM2, so, but that's kind of obvious. Yeah. Yeah, shout out Jeff. Let's go see what the other guys got. Sounds good, brother. All right, guys, we're back in the custom shop. Let's go find Mike, see what he's got going on. Mike, what's going on, man? Hey, what's happening? You ready to give that piece of crap back? <laughs> yes, <I am. laughs> so Mike, what knife did you have to carry all week? Smith & Wesson, right out of the gas station. Um, but I used the hell out of it, and I gotta tell you, it performed everything uh, pretty well. Everything I needed to do with it, it worked out. So the only problem I had with it was this tip down. You know, I made a mm -hmm. comment when I first got it, at least it's tip down, kidding around, but um, I can't get used to tip down. Not my thing. So every time you got out of the pocket, it was weird to open it oh, up? Oh yeah, it was, well, yeah, that and then putting it away, I had to flip it like five different ways to finally get the right way. Um, but like I said, it, it really performed, so I really can't knock it that bad. And it was thrown around, beat up, uh, cutting zip ties, doing all sorts of stuff with it, stuff with it, and it worked pretty well. Is that the answer you guys expected? <laughs> <laughs> There's your original knife back. Nice, well thanks. I guess, I guess I'll carry this until I get my SOCOM back. But, oh, okay, how about this? Would, would you buy this knife in the future? No, I have no reason to. Yeah, you got but, a lot um, of other quality stuff. But for what was it, 13 bucks? I think you bought yeah, it. It's yeah, it's 13 bucks. It didn't perform terribly. And Hate you can see say, it's, got, it's got nice little wear on it now. Yeah, it does. Um, and honestly, I'm not a serration guy. Yeah. But I used them. Really? Yeah, just cutting through ropes and stuff like that. Um, or really strings that were holding something together. I used those serrations a few times and kind of worked. Would that ever change your like your buying process going forward if there was a partially serrated um, option on a nicer knife? It's something I wouldn't be opposed to if I had to have serrations okay. anymore, whereas in the past I'd be like, nope, no serrations, yeah. no straight edge. Um, I'll still purchase straight edge knives because I'll try and keep them sharp. Sure. And you know, when they're sharp, they'll get through anything. But with that thing, I mean, I used the serrations and I used, uh, used the hell out of it and I think it worked pretty well. Awesome. 13 bucks. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. Well, thanks for letting me borrow your PM2. I really liked it. Absolutely. All right, guys, we're in the flashlight tunnel or what's gonna be the flashlight tunnel right now. Let's head on over to the old store, get those guys' impression on the knives they had to carry all week. Après vous. <laughs> All right, guys, we got Justin. Justin, what do you have to carry this week? So I was carrying Brian's Ultratech. Um, blue handle, drop, and then blue handle, black hardware, and black drop point blade in M390. So what do you think about it? You know, I'll be honest with you, man. I was pleasantly surprised. Not because I've had anything against Microtech ever. They make a great out the front, obviously. Uh, but I never carried an out the front like this before. Mm -hmm. And I was really pleasantly surprised by, A, how well it carried, okay. um, especially compared to my mini tank. This is a lot thinner, a lot lighter. Um, and obviously, you know, being able to just have the the ease of use of a true one-handed and all that kind of stuff was pretty darn nice. So would you carry an out the front in the future if given the opportunity? I would, okay. yeah, I would. Um, again, I was pleasantly surprised because I've always kind of stayed away from just for a variety of reasons. Um, but I don't know, I, I think this definitely did it for me this week. If you had to spec one out in Ultratech, what would you do? Uh, all black, man. 
All black. Uh, yeah, all drop black. Point. Yep. Okay. It's all black drop point. Yep. Cool, man. Well, yeah. I'll take that. Excellent. And then I'll get you your mini Atomus back once we talk to I've Doug. I missed it greatly. I know you did. All right. Like, I'm adding to my collection. I love it. That's a good collection so far. Thanks, brother. Appreciate yep. you. You bet, dude. All right, Eric with a K. What did you have to carry this week? I had the pleasure of carrying your SOCOM manual. Oh, thank God it's back. <laughs> what did you think about it? So, full disclosure, you carried mine in the past, haven't you? Yes, I have. Okay. So, what did you think about it this time? Still a great knife. It's probably one of my top of the list folding tank style knives. Yeah, absolutely. Would you carry one of these in the future? Like, would you buy one in the future? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, oh wait, you have his, uh, you have his TRM. Yeah. Time to do the reunion. Ooh. Thank you, my friend. There Hi. you go. And I'll there take that. Go. It's good to have this guy back. I Eric. strapped her up pretty good for you. Oh, it actually does feel good. Yeah. Appreciate you. You're welcome. And is that still functioning? Oh, wow. Yes, it is. It okay, looks, good. It looks a little different. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eric. I, I like appreciate it. you, brother. Thanks. All right. Let's go, 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 go. Let's go back over to the new building because Doug's over there and we'll get his and Brian's opinions. Let's hit it. All right, guys. We have Doug here. Doug, what did you have to carry all week? I got to carry the Benchmade Mini Adamas from Justin. So now that you've carried it, is it different than something you'd usually carry? It is different. So it's not a different size lengthwise that I'd usually carry, but it's definitely beefier. So it's a yeah. lot thicker. Um, I think that uh, I'm a big fan of the access lock. I don't really have anything right now that has an access lock. Um, I don't know if I'd carry this just with the width. It's not okay. usually my go-to, but it has actually encouraged me to get a Benchmade. So I got a Benchmade coming in a week. Nice. So access lock there. Um, but yeah, I'm a really big fan of it. It's really useful, um, super chunky. So it you know, does basically anything you need it to do. Um, but I wanted something a little bit smaller, slicier. Okay. So yeah, but it's a really good one. I'm a, I'm a big fan. So you weren't it, you weren't disappointed with having a kid? Not away. disappointed at all. No, thanks, Justin. I appreciate you letting me have your knife. <laughs> all right, sounds good, brother. I'll get you your Kapara back ASAP. Yeah, man, awesome. All right, Brian, what did you have to carry this week? I had Doug's Kapara. That thing is actually pretty sweet. Did you like carrying it? I did, I did. Um, I actually like it a lot. I was hesitant on buying one of these for a while, but after carrying one for a week, I definitely like the way it feels. Super slicey, real thin great ergonomics on it but you weren't surprised because you already liked the kapara yeah i was already i was already a big fan of it so definitely a cool chance to carry it i'll trade you there's Sweet. your microtech back brother thanks man. thank you you're welcome all right guys we have our original knives back i'm super pumped it feels good to have it back you know this whole thing was just kind of gain perspective on what other people mm -hmm. carry and i think that all the knives that we were carrying were perfectly adequate for what we have going on yeah everything worked out really smoothly yeah Everyone we like their knives exactly we all have personal preferences and we all have kind of like our style that we tor that we kind of lean towards yeah. that if we were to get into a circumstance where we had to use it in an extremely overbuilt like kind mm -hmm. of session, that would be the kind of knife that you had to carry. Eric, he's working in the custom shop. He's opening a lot of boxes, tape, this, that, and the other. So that knife works out perfectly for him. Um, Brian likes the convenience of that, of the Microtech Ultratech. So I think we just gained a lot of perspective on this stuff. I liked it, it was a cool challenge. It was, it was really cool. So guys, let us know down below if you'd like to do this with your friends. And if you do do it with your friends, film a video because we'd like to see it and tag us in it. All right guys, we'll catch you guys in the next video.